Hello and welcome back to another episode on Innovative Check, your go-to YouTube channel for all things tech, trade, and transformation. Today, we have a powerhouse of a topic, one that's changing the global semiconductor landscape. China cancels $50 billion in advanced microchip orders, eyes domestic, ASML, development. So, buckle up as we delve into this riveting story. China has always been a strong player in the global tech market, but recent geopolitical tensions have pushed it to focus more on its domestic capabilities. In a bold move, China has recently cancelled $50 billion worth of advanced microchip orders. And this isn't a random decision. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Let's break this down. Welcome once again to Innovative Czech YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like and comment. In a world increasingly driven by digital technologies, the semiconductor industry has become a field of intense competition and strategic national interest. With the current geopolitical tensions and restrictions on international trade, China, one of the world's most significant consumers of advanced microchips, has taken a bold decision. It has cancelled $50 billion in orders and has decided to focus on the development of its domestic chip-making capabilities, aiming to build its own version of ASML. This video explores this transformative mood, providing a comprehensive analysis of the historical context, China's pivot towards domestic development, the challenges and opportunities it presents, and its implications for the global semiconductor industry. The United States has traditionally held a position of technological hegemony, using various means to suppress foreign companies that surpass American enterprises or pose a potential threat to them. This approach can be traced back to instances such as the crippling of Japan's burgeoning semiconductor industry and the undermining of French energy giants. A similar scenario unfolded in the era of 5G. Huawei, a Chinese multinational technology company, emerged as a global leader in 5G technology. With the highest number of patents globally and being the only company capable of providing end-to-end -end 5G services, Huawei's prowess posed a challenge to the US's position in the tech arena. Moreover, Huawei's cutting-edge 5G chip technology brought it to the forefront of the global semiconductor industry. However, the US, viewing Huawei's progress as a direct threat to its own technological supremacy, responded by imposing restrictions. It repeatedly modified chip rules to limit not only the shipment of American chip companies such as Qualcomm but also restricted other companies that use American technology, like TSMC and ASML, from shipping to China. In response to these international restrictions, China embarked on a journey to lessen its dependence on foreign semiconductor technology. This move was marked by accelerated development towards self-designed and self-produced chips, focusing on reduced reliance on American chips and related products. The commitment to domestic production was underscored by a significant decrease in chip imports following U.S. restrictions. Key to this pivot was the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, China's largest and most important chipmaker. SMIC announced plans to significantly expand its production capacity, aiming to produce over 700,000 equivalent 8-inch wafers by the end of the year. These would be used to manufacture various types of chips, marking a significant step towards China's goal of semiconductor independence. The capital expenditure for this expansion was expected to exceed $6.6 .6 billion, primarily allocated for capacity expansion and process improvement. Just as China was gearing up its domestic chip production, a new challenge arose. The US, Japan, and the Netherlands signed a tripartite agreement to further restrict the shipment of advanced semiconductor equipment, adding another layer of complexity to China's drive towards self-sufficiency in chip production. This agreement imposed limits on the shipment of more than 23 types of semiconductor equipment, which would have a significant impact on China's domestic chipmakers. Undeterred, Chinese companies continued their journey toward achieving technological independence. Crucially, China's domestic lithography machine development has made significant progress. The lithography process, a key step in chip manufacturing, uses a machine to etch circuit patterns onto silicon wafers. The most advanced of these machines are developed by ASML, a Dutch company and a key player in the global chip supply chain. However, with the new restrictions in place, Chinese manufacturers have shown they are capable of competing making significant strides towards reducing their reliance on foreign technology. 
Chinese-made lithography machines have achieved a breakthrough of 90 nanometers, suitable for manufacturing mature processed chips. Furthermore, Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometer precision lithography machine has also achieved technical validation, with mass production expected soon. The US-led restrictions have had a profound effect not only on China but also on European semiconductor companies. Europe's chip industry, although home to few globally recognized names such as ASML, ARM, and Saint Microelectronics, lacks an inherent advantage in the field. Following the modified chip rules, ARM and ST Microelectronics lost their ability to ship products freely, leaving only ASML able to ship certain models of DUV lithography machines. Now, with ASML facing further restrictions on its shipments, this signals worrying times for the European semiconductor industry. The US's restrictions inadvertently sparked China's push for self-sufficiency, which could potentially erode the market share of European companies in China, causing them to lose further advantages. Huawei's response to these international challenges has been notable. The company announced a comprehensive foray into the chip and semiconductor field, pouring a whopping 440 billion yuan over three years into China's domestic chip industry chain. This move has had a marked impact on the landscape, significantly reducing ASML's market share in China. Huawei's investments are not only driving innovation but also enabling the establishment of a complete mobile phone industry chain within China. The company has collaborated with SMIC to fast-track the localization of advanced processes and reduce dependence on foreign technology, marking a significant step towards achieving China's goals of semiconductor independence. It's a high-stakes, high-tech race, and China's determination for technological independence is clearer than ever. But how will this affect the global tech landscape? Only time will tell. That's it for today's episode, folks. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into China's move towards self-reliance in chip manufacturing. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this, so drop your comments below. And, if you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. This is Innovative Check, your window into the world of tomorrow. Until next time, stay innovative.